Disney and Matchbox are two of my favorite things. Disney theme parks currently offer larger Matchbox buses decorated differently for every year. I have some of those, but what if Disney and Matchbox had collaborated back in 1973? The Magic Kingdom had just opened two years earlier. The Super Kings line was recently introduced as well. What could be more natural than to decorate a great big tanker truck as a fuel supplier for Disney's flagship resort? If only I had a time machine. But maybe my laptop and inkjet printer could work even better than a tricked out DeLorean. I'd also need some decal paper and a donor vehicle. I was able to find a Ford articulated tanker truck that had pristine paint but no stickers. The fuel hoses were both present, and the chrome was also in great shape. The white plastic of the trailer had not yellowed either. It began its life as a Texaco model, so I thought fitting that it should be reborn as a Disney-Texaco hybrid. Once the decals come from the printer, give them a decent amount of time to dry. I'd say at least an hour, but I allowed mine to sit overnight. Moving to a well-ventilated area, I chose Painter's Touch 2X Ultra Cover by Rust-Oleum in clear gloss to seal the paper. I later applied the same paint, but in a matte finish because the decals were too shiny. The matte finish is closer in appearance to the stickers that Matchbox used in the past. I only wanted to print and seal these decals once, so I allowed them to cure overnight. Cut the paper to best fill the area of the model, and then soak them in water. A few minutes later, they're ready to slide off. My new decals are about the same size as the originals, and I'll center them too. If I did this again, I'd do a bigger graphic that covers a greater area of the trailer sides. I'd also do something cool on the back end of the trailer. The Mickey head inside the Disney D is correct for the time period represented by this model. I'd like it even better if the graphic would be all white on the cab's door instead of black over a white square, but again, most of Matchbox stickers at the time were on white paper. Here's the final result. There are some things I'd do differently based on what I know now, but I'm still pretty happy with it. There are plenty of K16s available, so I may try another one. These decals would not be difficult to remove either. There is a K16 decorated for Exxon that is an all-white model including the cab, except for a horizontal red stripe halfway up the trailer. Acquiring one of those in nice shape would truly give you a blank canvas and there'd be no difficulties with the white background of the decal paper. Thank you for watching. <laughs>